Hello and welcome back to Only Analog. Um, got quite an exciting one today. We've got a brand new film stock from Ilford. Um, I say brand new. Um, it's just been introduced as a 120 film, and it is known as Kentamere. Um, so before we get started today, I just want to thank each and every one of you that have subscribed. Um, we have finally made it to that thousand subscriber mark. Um, we're both super chuffed and yeah. excited. Um, so thank you all so so much. Uh, we can't express how much it does actually mean to us. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join yeah. our family because we we are starting to really like the the community that we're building. So mm. if you want to be part of that, then come and join. So Ilford have introduced this as a 100 and 400 ISO. Um, today we're only shooting the 400 ISO version of this particular stock. Um, the reason for that is we went out on our first frost and it was super overcast and we knew that the 100 speed probably wasn't going to cut it um, without a tripod. Um, so today we're testing 400. I'm sure we probably will get into 100 in the, in the near future. Um, so we found a really cool location today. Parked the car, went out on foot and found some some lovely little gems didn't we yeah uh, so we're going to run some footage and then we're going to get into some specs um what we think about the film and how we developed this film as well uh, so enjoy today's video So we just want to cut in here and talk a little bit about the film. It's nice to have Ilford introduce a low cost film stock of their Harman technology. When me and Josh first started shooting film, well when I first started shooting black and white definitely, I used Kentamere all the time. But this film is definitely a, uh, a surprise. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. So me and Josh was discussing when we done the Agent Shadow video that we wished that we had it in a 120 format. Mm. And that's obviously um, Kentamere 400. And then Ilford answered our prayers. Yeah, sure enough. Yeah. Ask is... and you shall receive. So for a 400 speed film, um, there's definitely not a lot of grain. Um, if you zoom right in, the, uh, the yeah, grain is quite minimal. I noticed that because 
When you shoot the 35mm version of this, it is grainy. Mm. We did develop this in Perceptor. Um, Ilford's Perceptor only seems right to develop an Ilford film in Ilford Developer. Yep. Um, but we developed this at Stock Developer, so 500mm of Perceptor, and got some banging results. So let's just talk about the exposure latitude really quick. Uh, there was a few shots I'd taken purposefully um, while we were out to sort of test that range um, of the exposure latitude and definitely super impressed. You've got the side of the barn um, where you've got a lot of shadows. It was very dark in there. I mean, it was an overcast day anyway, so there wasn't an, a lot of light available. Going from the dark side of the barn um, to the plow and then out to the windmill in the in the highlights, um, it sort of retained all of its detail really well. Super impressed. I thought yeah. I was going to get really muddy blacks and then the windmill was going to be super blown out, but um, wasn't the case at all. So, yeah, exposure latitude wise, super impressed considering. So this was the last shot I was able to take with my Pentax 6.7. As some of you know, um, I have a space issue and the last frame is always a half frame. I was lucky enough to get Tom just in the frame on this one. So I just want to talk about some similarities between the films um, of Ilford's range of 120 and the new Kentamere 400. Even though this is a budget film obviously from Ilford, 
from what I found from my shots in particular is if you lined up some Delta or HP5 for example next to the Kentamere film I think you'd struggle to determine which is which unless you you know you've got a really keen eye and you know what you're looking for what I'll do is I'll pop some shots up on the screen so you can you can see the two next to each other side by side um, so you can see the similarities themselves obviously it all boils down to how you develop and how you scan for me personally I think there is a there's a lot of similarities mm. and I think for a budget film if you want to get something close to Delta and you're trying not to break the bank and you know yeah. or you're yeah, yeah. you're getting to a point where you know prices are getting too high and you want to shoot something cheap that still looks great then this is more than a viable option. Well, yeah, it's just like, I wouldn't buy this now in a 35mm film stock because the 120 is just so much better. Mm. Was it £6 something for a roll of uh, HP5 um, on the Ilford website? And this is 4 95 on the website. So you save, yeah, well, you I do mean, save a little bit Yeah, you can pick these up. I've seen them in places for £4.50, these these Kentamere 120 rolls. Oh, yeah. And, you know, some, some places are stocking Ilford films for £6.50, £7 plus now. Yeah. The reason why this film is so cheap is because they've cut down the amount of silver halide that they use in the film. When you get the Harman technology and Ilford bringing out a stock like this, it will just boost your confidence in shooting film again. Yeah. Because at, at you can just go, price. right, okay, I buy a roll of 100 and 400. It's going to cost me what, a tenner. Yeah, if that. If that, yeah. If you slow down and shoot wisely, you'll get some nice printable shots, I think, yeah. out of it. I think we've prove that in today's video there's yeah. a few shots in there that I'll probably be printing and the other thing is I don't think you know Kentamere has been frowned upon a lot especially in 35 millimeter over the years um, I've seen a lot of people give it some grief um, online and you know people I've spoken to as well but I think now this this is in 120 and what we've seen from the images themselves the first shots we've seen mm. I think it's definitely nothing to be frowned upon I think this is this is a beautiful it's film stock nice we were film. extremely surprised these were an absolute breeze to scan yeah they were really easy to work with. Sorting out the levels on the scanning um, didn't need much touching at all. No. I mean, we pretty much left them almost mm. as they were. Um, brought down some highlights a little bit and a few of them, but other than that, it was just an absolute, yeah, absolute piece of cake to scan with. Um, other, yeah, other than our bad photography skills, yeah. I think it's uh, we, we could sort out most of the negatives. They're so very um, easy to deal with, like Josh yeah. says. In, in regards to your uh, the details. I was saying to Josh, as I always say in most videos about dynamic range, this film actually does pick up a lot of detail. Mm. Some of the shots that um, Josh took with his Pentax, you can zoom right in and you can see the like, lightning rod right in the background. Yeah. You start to pick buildings out in the background yeah. and for a low cost film, it's rather good. Yeah. In like you say, you've got the exposure latitude, you notice the difference there and I noticed the difference in the, the dynamic range and I think... Mm. Like for the low cost film, I think it's worth the money. Yeah, all day, all day yeah. long. So we lot to see a lot of people shoot this film not as a landscape. They've shoot, they've taken pictures of their cats. They've taken pictures of Some, portraits and yeah. stuff like that. And I feel that me and Josh went out on a whim to try and capture a different side of the film in sort of the landscape aspect. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to stress enough and get across how impressed I actually am with this film. Um, I remember thinking as we were walking away from the shoot, I was because there was some in there that we absolutely love. And yeah. it, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, I wish I'd shot this on Delta. I wish yeah. I'd shot this on something that I I know that I trust. But coming back and obviously seeing the results, I was blown away. You know, I, as I said before, we're, I'm definitely going to get some of these printed. Um, I think they are some of them are print worthy yeah. shots. And if you if someone if there's someone out there that didn't know Kentamere existed in 120, and you said, oh yeah, that's Kentamere 100. Or Kentamere 400, I think they'd be blown away. Yeah, but it'd be definitely in our lineup of film, yeah, black and white films mm. to go forward with. I think, yeah, it's fair to say it's. Um, I know obviously Ilford have got a lot of films that I love, that you love. Yeah, Delta, obviously, I know we say in every single video, Delta, 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 Delta this Delta. is going to be a strong <laughs> contender for one just to throw in the bag now. If you're, yeah, if you're going out for the day and you know you want consistently good results at a low cost, then. Straight in the and bag. you can do sorts of trickery to it. I've seen some people pushing this to 800 yeah. up to 3200 yeah, yeah. 3, mm. and get good consistent results. Um, so if you have enjoyed today's video, um, please do go and check out some of our other videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button as well. It really means the world to us both. Um, drop it a like and give it a comment as well and let us know what you thought. And if you've shot a roll of the new Kentamere 120 yet. 
as always, thank you very much for watching today. And we will catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.